we saved over $1,000 and made our own dope album surfboard. Friday afternoon, I'm here with Coleman Dietrich. Hello. Coleman wants a album Sunstone or Moonstone? What is it? Sunstone. Sunstone. Or Rash or Face Right. Yes, oh. but we don't want to spend a thousand, like yeah. 12, 1300 bucks. We're going to try to rip off album Sunstone. Moonstone. Sunstone? Sunstone. Sunstone. Sure Sunstone. We're not ripping off. I don't off. know. We're interpretively recreating. Well, let's do it. Might be improving. We might be improving. <laughs> Who knows? They might be ripping you off after this. Album has know. nothing on know. us, right? Oh, we yeah. totally know what we're doing. <laughs> okay, man, grab your blank. It's the rack of, of mini gloves. I'm gonna get banned from ever buying an album board. Yeah. <laughs> okay, so we don't know what we're doing at all. We've never shaped this. We don't have a template. We're gonna have to be artistic, artsy fartsy. And we got a cool custom blank from US Blanks with a red, white, blue stringer. Super cool stringer per Coleman's request. I, I pulled this one specifically looking at the, the nose rocker midsection and tail. We're gonna try the magic fish. We're gonna modify this. This might be really sick. All right, magic fish. And where's the magic fish tail? Oh, perfect. Okay, magic fish tail. Let's see here. What is the max width on that board, Coleman? What do you think about that, Coleman? I like it. I don't really know what I'm supposed to be looking for, but it looks cool. I think it looks really fun. And what was the width? We said it was 20.25. Hey okay, man, very first right to it, baby. Every first board you make, you gotta sign the tail cut or the nose cut. 113, 2023, what should we name this? Does it have uh, a name? Not album. <laughs> <laughs> uh, Coleman, what's all this blood on here? I cut my finger off. So here we're just trimming up the rails with the rail runner tool. I really like it. Thank you, Green Light Surf Supply. We've got a band aid for Coleman. Feel a lot better now. <laughs> Comment below if you guys want mugs. I made this just for fun but it's sort of dope. So, cheers. That is sick. Ooh. Finished the bottom. We didn't take very much volume off. We really just skinned it to get that hard skin layer. And right now, we're just checking to make sure that it is perfectly flat. We've got no dips and it is looking fantastic. Two and seven eighths. We dropped and broke my homemade little adapter, <laughs> so now we're just blowing dust everywhere. So this is a critical part where you pick up the board and you feel it, and you just really just imagine, can I surf this? Does this feel right? Is there something I need to change? Okay, so we're up. Uh, we're experimenting, we actually might do a step down deck. Look at this. And I like the idea, like you said, if it gives you maybe a more performance rail, keeps foam in the middle. Dude, that, is, that looks very cool. Dude, that thing is sweet. It's looking pretty zesty. <laughs> Oh. oh shoot, did I see that with the tip of this? Yes, you did. Nah. That is two for two. <laughs> Dinged it with the tip. The compressor. Dude, everyone always hits it with the air compressor. <laughs> I got it up the only one. Oh, <laughs> Evan did it as well. <laughs> We're gonna plane down and sand to the thickest, to the deepest point. This is an interesting board. It's totally unique. It's very different from anything we've ever done. We weren't sure 100% where to place the fin. So we sort of split the difference on this guy. This is interesting. We went up nine inches and then we pulled the fin boxes in from the rails an inch and a half. So we split the distance between a typical thruster and twin fin. We want to make this a little more aggressive for turning. So we did do a full fourth inch tow in. So yeah, so we're going to cut these fin boxes and uh, it's going to be really interesting. This is Future's brand new three fourth inch router bit. Super cool. 
These just came out this year. They have sort of a weird loop to them. You have to actually adjust the depth of cut for them to fit perfectly. The old ones you just pop in and they're automatically the perfect depth. I have a whole video about these and I'll link the video here or here. Check it out, it's super interesting. All right, Coleman rounding his first fin box. Look how tight that's routed. That is perfect. That is gonna be a really cool reward. Okay, the real question is, how do we color it? You'll have to wait and see. <laughs> Is it time for pink? Pink is going on. Okay. Oh, that is so cool. Look at that. You ready? Okay, sir. Oh, that is cool. Show me your hands. Second round with the paint. Okay, we've got the deck all taped off. Might come off a little bit more this time. Here we go. Elise has joined the party. Ooh. Oh, guys, this board is looking sick. So Coleman very intentionally smeared extra paint here because when he starts, he's going to use that extra paint to initiate the smear front to back. So Coleman, how are you feeling? Nervous again. <laughs> Straight down the center for the first one. Dave, you're gonna have to remind me to go slow because nice right, and slow. I'm gonna nice go and into slow, panic so mode again. Slower, so we can saturate all these white areas. Oh, look how clean that, that, that looks. That part looks so Oh, that is sick. Oh. Kind of a panic move because I wasn't intending to do that originally. Oh, that is really cool. That is really cool, Coleman. Can't even, I can't enjoy that. <laughs> I'm cool, calm, and collected. Look at all that paint. Look at this, Elise. Look how there's such a huge paint blob. Oh my <laughs> Wow. Turned out so good. Look at that. It's the rainbow bridge, right? Yeah. <laughs> okay, Coleman, pull the tape. Ah, okay, that is slippery. <laughs> I feel like for so much paint, that's pretty good about not having too much bleed through. That yeah. looks really sick. Dude, that is really cool. Pretty excited about that. Ooh. Ooh. That is That sick. is super nice. Ooh. Very paranoid of messing something up at this stage. If I dropped it or something right now. <laughs> I, I that is really neat. That looks good. I'm pumped on that. Coleman, very first time pulling cloth. So few people have ever pulled cloth. 
or you know been able to experience glassing their own surfboard like that is so special and super unique nice Okay, it took us a bit to sand it. Sort of tricky making sure you get all those curves and everything just perfect. Finish it. That is awesome. Pretty satisfying to, uh, Dude. to buff it. Dude, look at this Final product. Board. Biased opinion is it's probably one of my favorite boards I've seen. Based upon how much an average fancy album is. 1300 bucks, $100 blank, probably about 250 bucks worth of glassing stuff, 350, saved $1,000. That's pretty good. Yeah, dude. Pretty good. Heck yeah. You're standing, it doesn't feel like you're taking much material off, but even when you hold it, I feel like you can definitely tell it different. You know, it feels so much a like lower profile. I really like it. This feels very surfable. Like I can surf this. Yeah, I was hoping to surf it this weekend, but it's like supposed to be one foot. <laughs> is it? Yeah. No. We'll see. Oh, this thing is so cool. That feels very surfable. Yeah, I really like it. I really loved how the we did the rails. The rails are I said, sick. I like that. That is cool. Okay, guys, like and subscribe. Help support the channel. If you're stoked on cool boards like this, uh, I've got a whole playlist of board builds, some explaining how to shape a board, some explaining how to glass a board, videos on the tools, videos on the glassing stands, all that stuff. It'll be linked below in the video description and stay tuned. They're plasmid. Is it their plasmid? Plasmid, twinsmen.